Hello everybody and welcome to NCAA action via SBF. We have MTSU taking on Gonzaga. Full teams of user players, no AIs here. Got a lot of good prospects that have already declared for this upcoming draft and a lot of people are going to declare in future drafts. Lots to spectate here if you're a GM and a lot to be entertained by if you're just a fan of the NCAA. Two of the best teams in the league going at it. MTSU on a massive win streak right now. Gonzaga looking to end that streak. So we see Alex Hayes roaming the perimeter. Finds Honcho. Honcho off the glass and in. Now Otis Bush with the ball. Otis gets it to Collinsworth. Trying to back down Honcho. Not getting much space. They're going to turn around, fake. Smartly gets it back out of the perimeter. There's seven seconds left. They've got to try to get something going here. Jose is going straight to the rack. No good. Rebounded by Sider, though. Gets in front of Cortez. Cortez fouls him from behind. Two shot, one shot at the line for Cayman Sider. Try to turn this into a three point play. Sider drains it. Alex Hayes with the ball. It's a to Hancho. Out of Varlo. Maverick waits for the screen, missed from uh, Ray Cortez. Gonna be hard to try to get past Juan Jose, one of the better perimeter players in the league. And absolutely drives through that contact to get to the rim there. And that is exactly how you beat that. Bush, guarded by Alex Hayes. Otis spinning. Sees Mike Honcho down low, spins, gets away from the traffic and lays it in. Good move from Otis Bush. <coughs> Patience there, got that bucket. And a steal from Otis. Otis in transition. One man can stop him, and he's not going to. Otis lays it in. MTSU trying to get off to a hot start here. Extend that win streak. Gets it to Alex Hayes. Alex Hayes off the glass and in, answers back. Alex lost the steal and immediately answers back with a bucket of his own. What is being guarded by Ray Cortez? They have the mismatch down low. They have the power forward on the point guard and it doesn't get much easier than that. Not a whole lot can be done there. Those are the kind of mismatches that they're so good at getting. Alex pulls up for that shot, no good. Otis bringing up the ball. Jose not gonna attack in transition, waiting for something to get set up, trying to find the man who's cutting. Sider up top with the ball, interesting. Normally we see him make those cuts. Off the glass, no good, and he gets his own rebound, gets it to Collinsworth. Dribbles it out, he's got seven seconds left to make something happen. Yannick Rose with the ball, gets the screen from Sider. Yannick, through the traffic, off the backboard, no good, and swatted out of bounds. They're gonna say it's Bulldog's ball. That was off the hands of Sider. Alex Hayes giving it to Alfie. Alfie spins up top. Otis trying to reach for it, and there's the alley-oop. No good, could not corral it and come down with it. And there's the lane on the other end in transition, taking advantage of that, running the floor and earning that bucket. Honcho gets it to Alfie. Off the backboard, no good. Alex Hayes trying to lock up Otis. And there's the alley-oop to Sider. The chemistry and connection we have seen all season so far throughout uh, Sider's late appearance to the 
Blue Raiders. We have seen their connection grow better and better with his cuts and alley-oops. The timing and connection that they have has been matched by almost nobody else in the NCAA. That shot's no good. Yannick Rose has it, driving. Almost blocked by Hancho. Hancho gets that rebound. Hancho working his way up in the Defensive Player of the Year rankings, and that's intercepted by Sider. Rose has it up top. Finds Bush in the corner. Almost loses it, decides to pull up. Not a smart shot there. Alex Hayes with the defense of the rebound. Finds Varlow and got that in there just in time for that layup. These quick buckets have been working great for Gonzaga, keeping them in this game. This Blue Raider offense is a buzzsaw. You cannot let them get going. There's the pull-up shot. Almost an air ball from Yannick Rose, uncharacteristic. Varlow gets some space off the stop and no good. Lucky miss there as Jose gave him just a little bit too much space, had an open look. Yannick trying to drive again, this time off the glass, no good, misses the open layup. Corner for Alfie, that's no good. Otis driving off the back, well, off the backboard and in. Threes heaved up by Alfie, that's no good, and it's gonna be eight to 15, MTSU lead going into the second quarter. We've seen a lot of open shots miss, and we've seen a lot of good defense, and MTSU still able to come away with 15 points in this first quarter. Gonzaga's gonna have to do a lot better to slow them down if they want a chance of breaking that streak. Alfie with almost a look of frustration. She goes into the second quarter, fakes, gets it to Cortez, gets fouled, and that seems to be the only reason that he let go of that ball. He looked like he was gonna put that down with one hand from almost to, uh, to the free throw line. That is some athleticism from Ray Cortez who competed in both the three point contest and the dunk contest this year. Absolute freak athlete. Gets two points for his team there off the foul. <coughs> Otis gets it to Cider. Cider to Collinsworth. Yannick pulls up. No good. Rebound by Concho. Concho's been kind of quiet on offense today, but on defense, he has been there for the boards and he's been there as their rim protector. They're gonna let Hancho dribble it. Get to a wide open Maverick Varlow, and that's no good. Two wide open threes from the same spot Maverick has missed. They're gonna need to hit those if they wanna come back into this one. Juan Jose gets it to Cider. Sider has the mismatch, but does he have the time to get it up? He has to shoot a hook shot. That's no good. The defense from Maverick too much. Rebound from Hancho. And in transition, they get the lay in. Maverick Varlow to Alex Hayes. Collinsworth gets to Sider. And they got the open man, but it was off an illegal screen from Sider. Got Yannick wide open. They're going to call that, though, and they're going to throw it into Alfie. Alfie to Alex. Back to Alfie. The screen. Get some space. The high shot. That's no good. Got the space he needed. And Otis Bush in transition, that's no good. The defense too, uh, too much. Jose gets the rebound though, hustling in there. 
Jose originally looked like he wanted to get the ball off of the cut, but ended up getting that rebound. And Yannick, with a sweet little move, gets by Alfie and lays that in with his right hand. First points for the Blue Raiders in this quarter. And there's another three from Maverick that doesn't go in. Maverick, normally a very reliable three-shooter when he's wide open. Otis fakes the spin. Doesn't get the space he wants. They have the mismatch down low again. And he steps back for the deep hook. Hancho's going to get that rebound. Finding Cortez. Goes up with the left hand, no good rebound, Yannick. Up top, guarded by Alex Hayes. It's by him, but he gets fouled hard by Mike Honcho. Puts an elbow into his chest, and he's saying, come on, come on, you know that wasn't intentional. When you got a big body and you try to close out that fast, these things happen. Clearly no ill intent from Mike Honcho. sinks both free throws from that hard foul. Alfie bringing it up on the other end. And off the back of the rim, no good. The scoring has been even this quarter. Both of these teams are starting to lose their offensive rhythm, it looks like. The pickup. Cider. Gets past Ray Cortez with a smooth move. Sider showed off that ability that he has to get by defenders in the blacktop tournament. We saw a lot of that. And the little tip in from Mike Honcho. He anticipated that perfectly. Knew the shot was coming up, got in position, found it, and just tipped it in with one hand. There's the three from Jose, and he drains it. Jose has been working on that three all season, and he has been getting better and better at it. One of the best 3 and D players, in my opinion, in the NCAA. And there is the monster dunk rejected by uh, Collinsworth. Pull up on the other end. No good. Rebound Sider. Sider's going to go back up with the left hand. That's no good. The defense from Cortez too much. In transition are the Bulldogs. Finds Honcho. Through traffic, off the back of the rim, no good. He gets his own rebound. That's no good either. Hancho misses both putbacks. Collinsworth driving at Hancho. Gets Hancho facing the other way. He was not expecting that aggressive of a move from Collinsworth. Cedric red hot right now. And the turnaround shot, no good. And there's the cut and the foul. Yannick got in front of him. Not a whole lot he could do but foul and hope that he misses a free throw here. First shot is up and in. And so is the second. Now MTSU doubling up Gonzaga. Could this win streak continue for MTSU who is taking a big lead in the first half? Shot up from Alfie, no good, rebound Cider. Finds Rose in the corner. Cider. Deep hook, no good, rattles out. Cortez with the ball. Finds Varlo in the corner, being covered by Jose. Takes the shot anyway, and that's up and in. His most contested shot is the one that goes in. Sometimes that's just how the night goes. For Maverick Varlo. Now with 10 seconds left, Otis Bush likely just going to hold for the last shot here, wait for a screen, try to drive. And there's that jump shot, no good. He gets his own rebound, enough time to put it back, and it's blocked by Hancho to end the quarter and potentially stop the bleeding from a big second quarter from this MTSU team. We 
go into halftime. We're going to take a look at the stats, see our players of the game, see what adjustments could be made. And Hancho and Otis. Otis took advantage of their early start, got some points, been doing a good job of facilitating and coming in and getting some of those rebounds too. And as you see, pretty much leading in every category for MTSU, doing everything well so far, like they've done all season. The tournament tends to be about whoever's hot, but there has not been a team more hot than this Blue Raider team. So it's hard to speculate, but it's hard to also not call them the favorites going into this tournament. And Alfie immediately getting to the rack. He was very cold to end the first half. And I'm sure he feels good watching that one go in. The screen tries to put it up over Hancho, no good. Cortez trying to get by Sider, he does. Left hand off the glass. And Gonzaga with four points off the board uh, on the board already, out of the gates, trying to make their comeback. Jose gets it to Sider, puts it up. They get a mis uh, mismatch over the point guard, but Alex or Alfie is just so long; he is hard to shoot over. Wide open corner three again, missed from Maverick Varlo. Cannot hit his open threes. Otis driving, gets it to Cedric Collinsworth, off the glass and in. Thought there was a little bit of contact there, but it didn't affect him as he got that shot in. Keeps the lead up to 10 and a quick one-handed jam to Alfie Hayes. Alfie Hayes has been looking at the bucket today. Only got a couple assists. He has been the absolute go-to guy so far. It looks like that was their game plan. And it looks like they're sticking to it too as the rebound goes to Cedric Collinsworth and fouled on the way up. That was by Maverick Varlow. It looked like Mike might have been able to make him miss the shot or block that and had he not been fouled. Unfortunate mistake there from Maverick Varlow who's having an unfortunate night altogether. Nothing that I would really say is on him. Some nights are just like that. Alfie open three. That's in. And those are the kind of shots that are going to help you cut into the lead. Now only down seven points. MTSU used to playing in a position of control. No good. Got the space he wanted, but just too strong. Finds Alfie. Alfie's going to go uh, shoot it through contact. Ill-advised shot there. They can't get the offensive rebound, and Yannick has it on the other end. Finds Juan Jose. Back to Otis Bush. Spinning is Otis. Gets by his man high off the glass and in. Otis, that was a fast spin to get to the rim. He's got some dribble moves. Alfie trying to back down Otis. Steps back, fakes. Smartly passes out, gets it to open. Maverick Varlo, and he finally buries his fourth three attempt. And now it looks like this Bulldog team has a little bit of rhythm. And he throws that one away. Thought he had an open man. Didn't see him there. Alfie dunks it. 14 to 6 run. Blue Raiders trying to hold on to their lead right now. They have done a good job of not blowing their leads. They know how to maintain control of a game. There's the pull up jumper. That's good. This is not a team you normally see panic, so let's see how they react to the surge of momentum from the Bulldogs. Contested pull-up shot, no good from Alfie. 
And Jose drives by Varlow. Gets all the space in the world and lays that in. Lead back up to eight. MTSU finally answering back. Maverick driving, steps back, gets some space, no good. Tipped up and in from Mike Honcho. <laughs> Offensive rebounding is invaluable in games like this. There's no way to measure how much they can mean for a team trying to come back or trying to maintain a lead. This is just so backbreaking for a defense. The rebound from Honcho. Alfie gets it to Alex. Alex, mid-range, backboard, no good. Doesn't get the rebound, Yannick does. In transition. They're gonna wait and set it up. They look like they might have a mismatch. Collinsworth, uh, Collinsworth on Alex Hayes. Let's see if they get him to it. And the shot's no good. Rebound to Alfie Hayes. Crowd's a little late on that one. And that's blocked. Rebound Cider. Otis finds Yannick in the corner. Gets it to Otis. Oh, the fadeaway is good. Now up eight points. Let's see if Gonzaga holds for the last shot here. They've managed to cut away at the lead and a chance to bring it down even smaller going into the fourth. And that is a defensive three second. That's gonna be a free throw and ball for the Bulldogs. Unfortunate mistake with just a few seconds left in the quarter. We give this shot to Ray Cortez who makes it. Now down seven, a chance to cut it down even slimmer. Plenty of time to run a play here. Cortez heaves it up. In and out, rebound, Honcho puts it back up and in. One second left, they got the lead down to five. Otis doesn't put up the shot. It is a five point game and we have a tight one going into this fourth quarter. Bulldogs finally building up some momentum to start this second half. We'll see who comes away with a victory. Will it be the Red Hot Blue Raiders off of their huge win streak, which I've stopped counting because it's gotten so ridiculous? Or will it be the Bulldogs? Otis with the ball. It's Dewan Jose. Otis driving baseline, no good, too short. Varlow with it. Finds Alfie. Alfie wants to drive, he loses it, Otis has it. Gets it to Yannick, one on one. He's gonna pull up, shoot, no good. Rebound Cider though. He gets that one to go in. Those are those offensive boards that I was talking about. That is a killer to your defense. Alfie gets to do a wide open Alex Hayes and that's easy for him. Brings the lead back down to four. Otis driving, almost loses it. Steps back out. He's got a screen, trying to take it on Honcho, almost loses it, finds Cedric, goes under Honcho, kicks out. Three seconds left, Jose has to shoot. That's short, rebound Honcho. Alex Hayes with it. Pulls up, mid-range, no good. Classic move from Alex Hayes, normally makes some money off of that shot. Otis with it. The spin. 
And there's another great spin from Otis Bush to get to the rack. I love the way that this guy attacks the rim. There's the alley-oop, the tip-in, no good. Hayes to Hayes, tip-in, no good. Unfortunate there. Jose in the corner. Find Cedric Collinsworth up top. Tiana Rose. Steps back. He's got five seconds. He's got to make something happen. Jose in the corner. No good. Rebound, Alex Hayes. Cortez to Alfie. Wants to take it baseline. That's good. Keeping this game close. Blue Raiders just cannot pull away. Huge third quarter for Gonzaga, nearly doubling their points. And now Hancho swoops in for that rebound. Wow, that was a risky pass that paid off. We're going to see two shots at the line for a very good free throw shooter in Ray Cortez. First one is up and in. It is a one possession game now. Three minutes left. Anybody's ball game. Whoever wants it next over the next three minutes is going to come out of here with a victory. What a home upset this would be for the Bulldogs if they can come away with a win. Jose up top. Gets the screen. Has some space. Pulls up mid-range. Drains it. Ice cold is Juan Jose. The screen. Alfie pulls up on the other end. That's no good. Almost the exact same shot. Screen. Otis finds Jose again, being guarded by Mike Honcho on the perimeter. What's he going to do here? Finds the mismatch down low. Three seconds. The spin off the backboard and in. The lead moves back up to six for MTSU. Bulldogs have a lot of time left, but it feels like this is a gotta have it moment. Bounce pass to Alfie. Contested shot, no good. MTSU trying to regain control. Otis trying to get past uh, Maverick Varlow. Waiting for the screen from Sider. Gets to the rack off the glass, no good. Alfie, no good on his mid-range. Yannick, a minute 23 left, six point lead. Trying to wind down as much of this clock as they can. The screen, Jose steps back for a three. That's no good and what a dagger that would have been. And a corner three for Alex Hayes on the other end. Keeps the Bulldogs in this. What a three from Alex Hayes. Getting to that spot in transition. Pulls it back to one possession. Otis trying to make it two. And he probably will here with two shots at the line. That fouls on Alfie. Misses the second shot, only up by four now. In transition, alley-oop and slammed down by Ray Cortez. Not gonna miss that. Two point lead now for MTSU. Up top, they don't wanna take a bad shot here. Screen coming. Finds Jose for three, no good. Timeout, Bulldogs, 20 seconds left. Now you absolutely need a bucket here. So ideally you would like to try to score as quickly as you possibly can to give yourself another option to 
foul, hope they miss, give yourself a second opportunity. But you also want to try to find the best shot available. So it might behoove them to wait for a moment and try to get somebody open rather than take a quick shot. Alfie gets the screen. Doesn't get the space he wants. Alfie finds Alex to Hancho. Five seconds left. There's Ray Cortez wide open. They don't get it to him. It's a three. No good. They had a chance to tie it if they saw Ray Cortez. They miss it, and the streak continues for MTSU. That was an amazing game. If you haven't commented yet, make sure you comment. Hope you guys had fun. This has been Lions signing off.